Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Beginning of the week, first break of the day and the week is going to be a little soccer. Pick your team number eight. 2018 Prism World Cup Soccer. I know I promised toner last Saturday, ladies and gentlemen, but the toner drama continues. It was the wrong tone, the wrong size toner for the printer that I had. It's for the other printers that we have here. So I'm just going to steal another printer from the other office and then bring it into my break studio. So that's your toner update, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go. So I, I marked all these boxes with these little squigglies right here just so you know that they're from the same case. Cristiano Ronaldo, now a member of Juventus. What? So I, th I think that's like, that's like LeBron going to the Lakers. Kind of. No, and it's not really like that. But but it's a big deal in the soccer world. All right, let's pop all these guys open. Believe it or not, we are getting closer and closer to the end of the World Cup. Ladies and gentlemen... The first, uh, the first team in the final match of the World Cup has been set. France beating Belgium today, one nothing, one nil. I had Belgium to advance. I thought they would too. They had a lot of opportunities, but France did what they needed to do. They scored and they they stifled and frustrated that Belgium attack. William L. Not ple are, William L. says says Bush League. What Cristiano Ronaldo leaving? Bush League on who? Or Juventus for purposely triggering that release clause? Or for Real Madrid for just letting him go? Jeremy Nicolo saying that B Bush League was France beating Belgium today. I know I I had Belgium. I thought Belgium were going to do it. But they were they were frustrated by by uh, oh the toner. <laughs> I don't know I feel you, William. Don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna steal uh, steal the printer from the other from the other office. I thought I, I that toner that was sitting up there. I thought it was uh, for my printer. It was not. I know. I apologize, you guys. I know everyone was waiting for the new toner. I'd even teased it on Saturday night too. I was like, "Stay, stay tuned next week for for brand new toner." Fail on that. All right. So we've got our first parallel is Christian Gamboa for Costa Rica. Eleven out of one ninety nine. Jeremy N saying, "Not a fan of Mbappe." Mbappe. Why not? He's all right. There's Paul Pogba. I, th I would think Pogba would bother people more than Mbappe. I don't mind Mbappe. I could see where people could get their feathers ruffled about Paul Pogba, though. And we got an autograph here is Ivan Rakitic. No, not an autograph, but but his name in the uh, in those different the Russian characters there, which are actually quite short printed. It's a great time to get this one, Croatia. That'll go to Kip Kip Hooray. There you go, Kip. Oh, I see Jeremy Nicholas saying, "Im flop a." Doesn't like the flopping around. The Cardi. It's not as bad as the Brazilian team. Neymar, specifically. Hector Herrera for L3. There's Mohamed Salah. There's Paul Pogba again. Could be a World Cup winner, France. Gabriel with Le Bleu. Yeah, Neymar might still be rolling. You're right, Jeremy. <laughs> 58, <coughs> excuse me, 58 out of 65. I got all choked up. 
Not that. The thing is, Neymar doesn't have to flop around because he's actually a, quite a talented player. Now, these, these guys aren't numbered, but they will still ship. That's why I'm kind of breezing by those. Now, not every box has an autograph. And usually, there's a low-numbered parallel right here somewhere. There he is. CR7, not on Real Madrid anymore. I think that Juve deal is, is all but done, which is pretty crazy. And we got Marcus Berg. That should be a low number out of 25 or 20 or something, something like that. Sometimes these low numbered parallels, nice, out of 20, can go for more than an auto. So Sweden had a good run. Uh, that'll be for Kip with Sweden. There you go. All right, that's box one. Next box. So for everyone who's been following the World Cup, what do you think? Who, who wins tomorrow morning? 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, Croatia, England. I've got some pennies on England to win the whole thing. I got a little on France too, but England had the higher return. I'm going with England. I think Croatia's gassed, right? Usually soccer teams, like in, in during the during the regular club season, you know, you're you're generally, you know, there's different cup competitions that come in the way, but you're generally playing like a match a week. But in the World Cup, between the round of 16 and the quarterfinals and the semifinals and then the finals, there's only a few days in between. So not too much time to recover. Now, Croatia has played two matches in a row where it's gone the distance. Regulation extra time, and shootouts. England ha has had a relatively, relatively speaking, has had a walk in the park. Now, will that be a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know, but... But Croatia, they are pretty gassed. Jeremy's thinking, Jeremy wanted a Belgium-Croatia match and it'd be super fun to watch a team like Croatia get there right. Like a, a tiny country that, you know, that hasn't, I don't think they've gotten this close ever, maybe? Maybe they've gotten to the quarterfinals, I think. But semifinals is, is definitely a big, a much bigger leap for, for them. Well, it's been ages since England's been in the semifinals. Let alone winning a World Cup, which was back in 1966. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Now, these ones aren't numbered either, so we'll kind of breeze by those. They are nice, though. They will ship. There's Alexander Corcoran. Two out of 15. Nice. Nice one for the Russians. Kip. With Russia. There you go. Another nice low number parallel there. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes for more than some autographs that we would see in here too. Nice. That might take place of the, uh, of the autograph. Russia with a very surprising run. And that goes to Iran. That'll be for Daniel Patera with Karim Anzar Ifard. I think I got close there. There's Polinho 
27 out of 40 for Brazil. Rick T with that one. So some nice parallels popping out of here. It almost looks like a gold parallel, but it's not. Coutinho had a great World Cup. That could be, like Coutinho and Neymar, both pretty young players. I could see them in four years being pretty dangerous. If they put it all together. Andres Guardado for L3, for Man. 60 out of 149. There's Javier Mascherano, Aaron Gunnarsson, and for Iceland, Arnor Ingvi Troutesen, 63 out of 199. It's quite a name. That's for Iceland. That goes to Michael Gallucci. I keep forgetting that Antoine Griezmann, like, he pretty much shaved his head, cut his hair. So I see him on the pitch, I'm like, oh, there he is. Oh, thanks, Jose. Well, growing up in L.A., taking Spanish for four years. The accent's decent. Just need a just need more more vocabulary. All right, next box, ladies and gentlemen, next box. Can England do it all? I don't know. Maybe. I feel like the one year where they didn't have a lot of pressure going into the World Cup is the year that they are now suddenly looking good to possibly win the World Cup. They've had sort of an easier path is what everyone's saying. Croatia will definitely be a big test for them. And then France will definitely be a big test for them as well. Patrick asking any Belgium hits yet. No, Eric Jennings has not gotten any Belgium hits yet. Still have this box and then three more to go. Still plenty of time. I haven't seen an auto yet. Not every box has an autograph. I forget how many we pulled in the first half of the case. There's usually, someone was saying there's usually, out of a 12 box case, there's like six or seven autographs. Jose likes England. Well, according to Vegas, I'm pretty sure France is the favorite odds-wise. Performance-wise, I don't know. France looked pretty good today against a tough Belgium team. And if they play like that against England, that's going to be a tough matchup for England. If England even gets by Croatia, they're also a tough team. That'll be, that'll be England's probably, probably their stiffest matchup. All World Cup. That's James Rodriguez for Colombia. That goes to David. That's out of 199. Christian Eriksen. Sadio Mane. Harry Kane. If he's firing all cylinders, that could be dangerous. Out of 125, we've got Mohamed Eleni and his teammate Mohamed Salah, of course, is a uh, the Liverpool striker. We'll save one of those. Or actually, all those inserts will be shipping anyway.
I wonder if we'll see some Russian players in some of the major leagues. I know Alexander Golovin, among others, had a good World Cup. They could find themselves in some European or in some uh, British or English, German leagues, maybe. Leroy Sané at a 65. No Leroy Sané for Germany this World Cup, but certainly the next one. Jose wanted a shootout. I thought it was going to get there. I thought Belgium was going to score a late goal, and then they both teams, I thought, would just shut it down until the shootouts because both teams have really great goalkeepers. That would have been pretty exciting. Out of 125, Jao Mario. There's Harry Kane again. Looks like we have an autograph coming up in this box. And the auto behind Timo Werner is Gareth Bale. It is. Wow. For Wales. That goes to Michael Gallucci and Wales. Nice, Michael. That is 66 out of 99. Nice refractor auto, Gareth Bale. Who is who I think Real Madrid might try to sell him too. And there's Davinson Sanchez for Colombia. So that goes to uh Colombia because Cristiano Ronaldo already moved on to Juventus. And I think that Gareth Bale they might try to move him too. What does it mean when Prism is printed on the back upper left corner? I have no idea actually. They all say prism, but I guess it's usually the card number would be up there. But I think the card number for this insert, for this autograph set is there. It's on card as well. Very nice. I might see Wales in the next one, at least in the Euros in two years. He is Steel Curtain. He, Steel Curtain's like, I'm an American football guy. Yeah, that guy is one of, one of the superstars of soccer. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Look at this. This might be from, I don't know why that, that says 2007, all, the, all these are 2017. And all of these say 2018. So that looks like that's from 1718 Prism World Cup Soccer. And that's from 18 Prism World Cup Soccer. Maybe it's from last year? They had some stuff they had some Gareth Bale autos left over? It's a different design, too. Oh, it is. Alright, look. So this is from that from the Road to the World Cup series. I don't think we'd broke any of those. And these are the actual proper. World Cup series right here. So that's row two, and that's the World Cup thing right there. So that's that's the that's the difference. But yeah, he's he's one of the top players, Steel Curtain. He's on Real Madrid. Used to be teammates with Cristiano Ronaldo. Scored a pretty ridiculous goal against my Liverpool in the Champions League final, which still kind of stings. Took Wales to maybe the semifinals two years ago. In the European only World Cup, basically, they called it the Euros. I think Euro 2016, they went pretty deep. So, yeah, he's a, he's a pretty big name. All right, next box. That should that should get your uh, that should get your whale spot. Look look it up, Michael. I'm curious now. Look up an autograph of his. I'll bet you it'll get your spot money back pretty easily, and then some. I know. I saw that, Matt Christ. 
We've been talking about it. Cristiano CR7 to Juve. The CR7 playing Juventus match in the United States. Well, that'd be interesting. When do the, when do those preseason matches start? Maybe, probably. Would he? I don't know if he'd play though. Usually those guys. Usually they give those World Cup guys like another month off, and they exempt them from like preseason stuff. And all right, there's Thomas Vermalen for Belgium out of one forty nine. That's for EJ Eric Jennings. There's Hugo Loris for France. Manzudic for Croatia. That match should be great tomorrow. Oh, on the 1st of August, says Desworn. Hmm. I would think that. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they would want him out there. He'd be a huge draw. But a lot of times, those there's the other keeper from today's match, Courtois. And behind Angel Di Maria, is that an autograph? No, it's not, but it's one of these uh, host city cards. Rostov on Don. These are really short print. We don't see a lot of these. These go to... Uh, these go to Russia. So that'll be for Kip with Russia. Kip, I think these, I know like the Mo, the one in like Moscow, the Moscow one sold for like a hundred bucks or something like that. I'm sure people are building sets of those too. Imagine, imagine the, um, obviously we have, we have the World Cup along with Canada and Mexico in eight years. Imagine those host city cards. I'm sure everybody will be making huge sets of those. We'll save a Neymar right there as well. So with all the money that uh, with all the money that Real Madrid has now from from the uh, Cristiano Ronaldo sale, and if they sell Gareth Bale, they may as well at that point. I wonder, will they try to pry Neymar away from Paris Saint Germain? Ah, there you go, Steel Curtain. See, the soccer sells a lot like basketball and hockey, ladies and gentlemen. And they don't, they don't make a lot of these, so that's why the value always tends to be pretty high. Matt, we will not be at the National this year. We're shooting for, uh, we're shooting for next year in Chicago. But this year, just the timing and a lot of different circumstances didn't really work out for us, unfortunately. We wanted to go. I like going to the National. And we've got Andres Guardado for L3. Nice. That card is gold as well. Man Nan with that one. 10 out of 10. Man, I really thought Mexico was going to was gonna get to like the semifinals or something like that. Didn't work out, but kind of a weird mixed feelings about Mexico this World Cup. You know, they looked great against... Uh, they looked great against... Germany, obviously, that opening match I thought was going to set that tone for the rest of the World Cup, and then, and then not quite. <laughs> Jeremy says, don't worry. Like, everything Cleveland is just going to let me down. I don't know. I don't think the Browns are going to let Cleveland down. They're going to go 8-8 eight and eight this season, Jeremy. You heard it here first, folks. That's right, Steel Curtain. <laughs> the, the, the Gareth Bale will help. Yeah, Gold Standard is going to be a big one tomorrow. That's for sure. I do. I have to say, Matt, I do like that Chicago venue. I haven't been to Cleveland, so not since I was a, a, a newborn. But um, 
so I wanted to go. I want there was a couple places that I wanted to check out too, but unfortunately it did not work out this year due to a lot of different circumstances. A lot of family stuff with the with the Jaspersons. I think we're we've been looking to we've been kind of actively looking to move uh, our store location to someplace a little bit larger up north. Up north, as in like ten miles north of here, closer to the closer to LAX. I think there's some nice spots there that we've been scouting out. We've been working on a new website for a long time. We've been putting a lot of resources in that. So then a lot of things we have. A lot of lot of lot of pots on the stove that we've been trying to manage. Which will all be which will all result in good things for you guys. But due to all of that, it just kind of didn't work out this year. But I do like Chicago. We they had the national there a couple times. There's Lionel Messi. Has Messi retired from international duty yet? It's kind of a mess, Argentina. A lot of people say that it's the the Argentina FA, the, their football association, out of 149 for Argentina, Gabriel, um, that has definitely caused a lot of issues. You know, not very well organized as a complete organization. What do we have here? Wow. What a case. We got the Gareth Bale autograph, and now a guy everybody knows, Pele, for Rick T and Brazil. What a hit. Brazil was a late pickup, too. It was just sitting there. Not numbered. Not numbered, but it's still a nice hit nonetheless. That is strong. That'll be the autograph for this box. Hey, Rick, you are welcome. Uh, going back to what Matt Chris was saying, yes, you should visit visit us anytime. You can visit us in the Redondo Beach location, or, or you know, when we move storage, you can visit us, visit us there too. We do sell some uh, some boxes directly out of the store. There's Guillermo Ochoa, the Mexican keeper, L3 that goes to. Man, again, 39 out of 199. Mothra, when you go to the National, who pays all the expenses? If you do, do they help pay for you guys to go out there? No, Mothra. No, everything comes out of our pockets. No one's paying anybody to go out there. No, you got to buy the booth. You got to buy your plane ticket out there. You got to haul all the gear out there. You gotta rent another room to keep all the inventory. You gotta pay the union guys to to haul the inventory in and out of the venue. You gotta fly me out there. You gotta have a hotel room for the entire week. It all it it all adds up. Oh, and Eric Jennings reminding us, or asking us, hey, didn't didn't the other half have the Harry Kane gold autograph? I think so. I don't remember. I was asking what we had in the first half. I don't remember. Mother, I wish they paid for us to go out there, but no. The only the only way that would ever happen is if I don't know. If we were as famous as like LeBron James. <laughs> not quite there yet. We're not we're not getting people to, to line up outside of Blaze Pizza. 
in 85 degree heat. Now it's a, it's a regular old convention. Got to pay everything to get there. And yeah, and was uh, that was a, the budgeting was another was another added reason why, especially with all the different things that we have going on. Just want to prioritize some store stuff first, and then we can focus on getting out there next year. Yeah, Harry Kane might win the Golden Boot for the for the World Cup. Who wins the Golden Ball, Matt Christ? The MVP award. And Harry Kane's got to score some goals if they're going to get past Croatia and if they're going to beat beat France. It's kind of troubling when an offense like Belgium gets kind of stifled by the French. You know, I mean, England has to get past Croatia first too. Um, the the Dodgers game was uh, was terrible, Eric Jennings. It was awful. Terrible because the Dodgers lost, and I had to sit there in, in the heat. No, we were sitting in the we were sitting on the third base side. So, all right, last box, 2018 Panini Prism World Cup. This is uh, pick your team number eight. Half case break from jazbeeshobbyland.com. 75 bucks break credit being given away in just a few moments after this box. And we'll post another half case break from a fresh case after this video is done. There's Alex Iwobi. Nine out of 25, which I believe replaces the autograph. That's the low number parallel. Nice green cracked ice that kind of matches the color of the team too. Uh, Nigeria, Philip with Nigeria. There's Olivier Giroud for Le Bleu. He has like a calf strain or something like that. So nice refractor. Not not too many not too many prism parallels here for Le Bleu. That goes to Gabriel. Lee Kyun Ho. That's for Korea. That'll go to Leo with the Koreans. Out of 149. Beat the Germans. Uh, Musula Kanate for Senegal. Twenty out of sixty-five. Angel Di Maria scored a scored a great goal against France. It just wasn't enough. That goes to Gabriel and Argentina. Will we be doing gold standard football tomorrow? Yes. Pretty much any of those major f American football releases we will be doing. I don't. Th I don't think we're gonna pass on something like that. All right, and there's Nemanja Matic for Serbia. These these uh, land player uh, country landmark cards are also very short printed. They also do well, almost as well as those host city cards. Nice national landmark, as you can see right there. Sir, who has the Serbians? That's uh, that's oh, that was the last spot mojo. Bove with that one. Nice. That that'll get your spot money back. All right, and that, my friends, is that. All right, what a break. We got the uh, we got the national landmark card. We had the. Well, the Pele auto, the Gareth Bale autograph, but we also had that other uh, host city card too, which are really cool. I don't know where that went. It's in here. Oh, there it is.
So check this out. Because we got two short print cards. Yeah, these, these landmark cards look really great. We've seen one for Germany, and we've seen one for Serbia. We don't see very too many of those. The host city cards are really cool. Of course, Pele, Gareth Bale. Very nice break. Now, let's give away some money. Money, 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 money. All right. Let's try to get all... Can I get all the country on this list right here? All right, you know what? Let's just keep it here. Let's alphabetize by your first name. So I'm going to sort by column A. So you have to buy at least three teams to get one entry. So Andrew has three. Daniel had four, so he gets one entry. Eric Jennings had at least three, so did Gabriel. So did Kip. So did Michael Gallucci. Philip. Bove. TJ, and looks like that is it. All right. That's not a lot of names. That's only nine names. So you have a one out of nine chance to get 75 bucks of break credit. That's probably the best break credit odds that you'll ever see on the website. We have two more breaks of Prism World Cup. That's how good your odds can be to win 75 bucks of winner-take-all break credit. It's a small list. So even if you don't like soccer, Michael Gallucci, Steel Curtain doesn't like soccer, and he stumbled into some big hits. Simple as that. All right. Let's randomize that list one and a four five times. Name on top gets it all. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time, right? I said four and a one. Yes. There's four. One more time. Name on top. Both. He had last spot mojo as well. You guys could have, I told you, you guys could have blocked him. Um, there you go. Robert, Bobby Bove, 75 bucks a break credit coming your way. <laughs> right after this video. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. There'll be more Prism World Cup in the store. Check it out, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.